What up guys, Ashley Manning here, back at it again with another video. Welcome back, and today, that's the wrong gun. I wanted to point my pistol at you guys. <laughs> or maybe I want to point it at Callie. What up, Callie? How you doing? Hey man, how you doing? Alright, we're here and we're going to show you guys how to do some boss farming in the new bunker missions. The new, uh, not they're not new, but the, the drug missions have been changed, and so the drugs spawn and they actually work now. And we're going to go and farm boss armor. So if you want some cool boss armor, if you want some cool shoulder pads that look like a football player or some other stuff like that, I'm going to show you guys how to do it and uh, take it nice and easy. And we're just going to go down there and farm some, some bosses, and that's it. So let's check uh, the mission tabs, right? So in your contracts missions, if you have enough rep, you do need a little bit of rep, right? So in my Crusader rep, my Crusader rep is max. I am a level 5 lead security contractor. But I think you get access to the uh, drug missions once you become level 3. So once you become level 3 in your area, whether it's, uh, you know, Crusader or Lauraville or whatever, then you get access to the drug missions. And the drug missions here are in the Mercenary tab. And one of them is Destroy Illegal Drugs. And just like we predicted, the Destroy Deadly Contraband is now available. And this is the higher tier one, Destroy uh, Deadly Contraband. But we're going to go ahead and pick the lowest level one, the... Um, destroy illegal drugs and uh, just do that one because I'm just going to show you guys that you can do it with the lowest level one and you can do it with the higher level ones. There's also a toxic drug one somewhere. I don't know exactly if that one's higher than the um, deadly contraband or not, but off the top of my head, I don't know. But So we're going to pick destroy illegal drugs. We're going to accept that mission there. It's here on yellow where we're already parked. And we're going to also grab Call to Arms because we're going to be killing a lot, a lot, a lot of bad guys. Oh, and the ship we're showing off today is uh, a one that doesn't get seen very often. We're, we're uh, driving the Terrapin. <laughs> um, <laughs> why are we driving the Terrapin? Because why not? So it's just a nice little showcase of the Terrapin. Um, for this, for this uh, bunker, we're going to a enemy bunker a non-friendly bunker so there's going to be turrets outside so you have the choice to either drive to the location or destroy the turrets or walk really far i guess those are your you could also walk really far um, and i have the third person bug i can't look third person in my ship so that means i can't even show you guys it's, what the terrapin looks like I figured something <laughs> out. it's only when you're in quantum oh it's only when i'm in quantum yeah, like once we jump out of quantum, you'll be able to do it. Are you sure? Yes, because right now I was just in third person, but now that we were in quantum, it doesn't let me. Okay. Well, hopefully, because I do want to. We picked the terrapin because we're third person. Because we're boom, what? Third person. Oh, boom! Third person. Look at that. <laughs> we're tired Tech... of the corsair terrapin time. Yeah, we're tired of the corsair. So terrapin is a nice little cool ship. It, it doesn't get flown enough. But it's got some of the best armor in the entire game it takes a whole lot of damage to kill this thing like a whole lot of damage so <clears throat> again what i was saying is the bunker itself uh the narcotics location is a non-friendly bunker so it's going to have a single turret by the way it's going to have a single turret that attacks us so you don't need a giant ship to tank the turrets anything with size two shields and um just enough resistance here will do the job to tank the one single turret while you destroy the turret. So anything from like a Cuddy or uh, a Freelancer, I mean, those only have one size two shield, so it's kind of pushing it, but you could do it in those uh, as long as you're a little careful. Um, two size two shield ships, no problem. W once you go into a size three shield ship, it's like, okay, that thing is uh, really tanky. So you kind of want to pick something that is not too big. Oh, I lied to you guys. This location has four turrets. <laughs> We're coming under fire. We didn't get shot or anything, but I lied to you guys a little bit. That's fine. We'll still deal with them. Some of them are supposed to only have the one turret. And I, I'm telling you, it's supposed to be that way. Shields. But, uh... You know, whatever. We'll still play max range here, and we'll we'll land our shots, and we'll kill these turrets. Look at that! Boom! 
So if you, if you do run into a bunker that has all the turrets, that's fine. Um, I would recommend a bigger, tankier ship. But uh, if you play like distance and avoid their fire, stay at max range, and then uh, work on them, you should be fine. So we're just going to stay at like 1,500 away from the turrets and take them out one by one. And also stay moving a little bit so that their shots miss like you would in a, if you're fighting a fight against a fighter pilot. You know, we only have two size two badgers in this ship, so it's not the greatest firepower. But nonetheless, we should be okay, like I said. Using the gimbal function is also very helpful here. Like I get to just gimbal around. Shields. Use a little booster here and there to make sure that we're staying nimble. As you see that we're in range, dealing damage and gaining our shields back all at the same time. And now there's only one turret left, so I'm not scared of that one turret. And we'll just go balls deep and die doing it. <laughs> See, this, these badgers don't even uh, have enough to take out a turret in one, one, uh, one, one whole full magazine of shots. All right. So now let's make our way to landing. As you see here, we uh, in the terrapin. Maybe we can possibly land front side door here. Is it small enough to land in this hole? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, that's plenty. So look at this. Front door parking. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And that's what we like to see. And then we can pop that boy there. Or is it on the other side? Wow. I'm intelligent, guys. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we'll just flip it around. No problem. It's not like I fly this ship every day or anything, because I don't, so, you know. <laughs> you can see me spinning with the door open. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. There's Callie in the door there. So, there he is. There he is. <laughs> we're going to go in here, and we're not going to complete the mission. We're just going to fight endless, endless waves of enemies. So, currently, I don't know if they're going to change it or what the deal is, but currently on these uh, destroy drug missions, the enemies are endlessly spawning nine tails and they have commanders or bosses or elite guards or whatever you want to call them um, they have one of those guys spawn for each of the waves so you have endless amounts of boss armor that you can do and complete and since we're doing endless waves of enemies and they spawn in the elevators and this is star citizen i do recommend to bring a friend because if you're doing this solo and something bad happens and a star citizen plays a little tricks on you, you will go down and then you got no one to save you. So if you bring a friend, it can um, increase your chances of getting out of here alive by a lot. And that's always good, right? We want to get out alive. <clears throat> and for some reason, guys, this is another thing I want to bring up. Why does the P4 not have burst fire mode currently? Like, look at that. See, I just cycled through my stuff and I have single yeah. uh, semi-automatic and I have automatic. Why don't I have I burst? You, like, Alright, guy here on the right. He's oh, down. Yeah. Wanna know something? What's I don't up? think you shared that mission with me. Oh, you don't need it. Yeah, was, yeah, I was about to say that like right after. You're right. But we're not going to destroy the drugs. Uh, my old squadron called those uh, big boss guys uh, titans titans yeah i like that sounds nice man are we audio Basically. bugging already yeah this fucking fs9 has uh, well it has a suppressor so there's oh that's what it is no okay. okay all right another guy down oh we gotta kill this guy Sadly, we have to kill the, uh... Come here. Come here. <laughs> He's a freaking ninja! Come here. Come here. Oh my god. He does look like... He does look like ninja! 
Oh, he <laughs> does. <laughs> Goodbye. I only knocked him out. <laughs> All right. So continuing through, you would just clear this bunker like you would any other bunker, but after they die, all die, they will respawn. And uh, little by little, little by little, yeah. There you go, guy right there. Easy peasy. We haven't ran into a boss commander or whatever you want to call him yet. At least I don't I think so. I might have killed him off in the distance, but I think he takes a few more shots and. Oh, he takes a lot more shots. So, let's see what we can do. Titan, on me. There he is. There he is. Mr. Artemis armor. And down he goes. And then civilian, running around, trying to be a civilian. Well, bam! Whack. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he fell through the map! Dude, I knocked that guy in the next week. So, I there you go. <laughs> I play way too much Rainbow Six Siege. You see me like leave spamming and shit. Yeah. Oh shit, you got him. Oh no, you didn't get him. I did. There he is. Whoa. Okay. Hey, I know this one. You know this one. This one. Yeah, that's right? Weevil Eggs, yeah. Yeah, it's Weevil Eggs. That's what we're gonna collect. Uh just a little Weevil bit for eggs. some extra cash. Maybe. So Guys, this is the uh, the bosses, right? The the titans, the commanders, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they will all come with a backpack, and they will all come with the same. I believe they all always come with the same chest armor. They will always come with the citadel modified core chest armor, but then oh, yeah. their arms, legs, and head will be a set of something random so they could be artemis armor they could be crusader armor they could be citadel armor they could be all different kinds of armors and they always come with an fs9 so um those are that's the situation so you can sit here and like i said they're going to respawn and you just sit here and you you you, you farm these bodies and so what we're going to do is we're going to start taking that body to the elevator we're also going to while we're here might as well grab a little bit of weevil eggs and a little bit of maize when you see it. So the weevil eggs are orange and the maize is brown. Okay, those are the only things that are worth a little bit of money. The widow is worth a little bit, but really it's kind of like how much time do you want to spend down here moving drugs is the question. And uh, how much time do you want to actually like do things on the game, right? Especially with the enemies constantly spawning and stuff like that. Yes, especially with enemies constantly spawning. So what we're going to do is I'm going to grab all this maze and the weevil eggs because it's not that much, especially so this is exactly why I decided to do destroy illegal drugs mission. Um, some of the enemies have respawned. This is exactly why I decided to do destroy the illegal drugs mission because there's not all too many drugs. Now, if you are to do the contraband, destroy contraband, you will have massive, massive amounts of drugs. Like... There will be, right now it says 230, right? 230 is the amount that was total here. In the contraband one, it's like 480. It's so, the deadly, the deadly contraband one. And There's... the toxic one, the highest level one, I think will have 600 drugs. So, no, no, no. the deadly one is the 600, the toxic one is the medium level. Oh, I did the, I did the deadly one last night and it was 480. Really? Yeah. Does it... Maybe it randomizes. Maybe, maybe I don't. Maybe maybe they. I think they toned down the amount of drugs, anyway. So maybe it used to be 600. Look at all the new legs. But anyways, the the point of this is, we this video is to farm armor. So what we're doing is we're doing the destroy illegal drugs to farm the boss armor and not care too much about the drugs. I'm going to do a future video that's going to be about how much money you can make in one of these missions if you were to collect all the drugs and turn in all the drugs. So stay tuned for that in the future. Um, we're going to show you how much money you make in this one just by collecting a little bit of drugs. You got him? You got him? Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so... We're just going to start moving the drugs out of here because it seems that the drugs like to spawn in the back rooms, by the way. So if you notice, the front room drugs are the cheap drugs. The back room drugs are expensive. 
Valley. This is where you find all the maze and the weevil eggs. It's all in the back room. Here, I'm going to start pulling them to you like that. This is called the assembly line. Henry yeah. Ford made this. Oh, interesting. There you guys go. A little bit of history in the videos, huh? A little bit of I history. Have, I always have a bunch of random facts. So there are enemies out there walking around, so what we're doing is kind of dangerous, but they also don't know that we're here currently. Um, and so we're just, like I said, taking care of this back room, preparing our exit, so that when we do decide to exit, we are all ready to exit. We also have a medic on standby if something was to emergency, emergency happen. Um, so that is all good too. You know, when you're a part of an org, you can do things where you have buddies that are on standby and friends that can help you out if if you need be. So there's a little plug there. So down in the description, in the description, you know, there's that Discord link if you want to join in on the Discord. There's also a link leading to the org on the RSI site if you want to join Astro Mercenaries. You can send an application, and all are welcome. We're all just a bunch of friends hanging out and having fun. There are no real requirements. We do tend to do organized gameplay every once in a while, but even that is kind of just like friends playing, but just a little bit more organized. Yep, I'm, re I'm still relatively new to like this entire scene. Yeah. You guys have been more than opening and like helpful and welcoming. I 100% recommend this org. I've been in other orgs where they, all they do is like, force you to do training in Star Citizen. They make you run laps and crap like that. But uh, no, this one's much better because you have a bunch of friends that truly want to help you get better, truly want to teach you how to play. It's, it's a lot of fun. I love it. So look at that. And that wasn't a part of the script. <laughs> no, there is no script. <laughs> but... <laughs> Okay, so look at this. So this is a good amount of drugs, right? This is about all we need. This is what we're going to take. Um, I'm going to go and do a lap around to clear the place. Because um, we are here to collect boss armor, so I'm going to oh. do a lap around. I did hear... I did get shot at. I don't know where from. Oh, no, I killed him. Okay. There was a guy right on the stairs over here, right, when you said you were going to take a lap. Okay. Yeah. And then here's another guy. <laughs> I probably should reload, but, you know. Oh, here's the tank dude. I should definitely reload now. And there you go. So, oh, there's this guy. Oh, I'm, I, he one-shot me. Not the Titan dude, some random guy. Uh, he's up on above the stairs. I got you. Yep. Appreciate it. See? Bringing in a friend. As you can see there, like, I kind of only got hit once there, and I just dropped. So it was a little bit of Houdini stuff, plus the game is very, very bugged right now. And here is the second boss guy we got. As you can see, he's wearing some Mazarov gear and a nice little helmet. Oh, he has the Crusader arms. Yeah, he has Crusader arms and legs, but he's wearing uh, an interesting helmet. And uh, so there you go. There, There's boss number two. And I'm going to go grab boss number one and bring him up to the elevator. Oh, I already brought him to the elevator. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll bring this guy to the elevator. And okay. Start, uh, drugs, I guess. Sure. For sure. 100%. Um, let's see. Where is the exit towards the front? I think you could throw him over this catwalk. And then we could just get him out of here as soon as possible. The drugs? Yeah. Okay, I hear people. I don't see people. Alright. The audio bugs makes this a little bit dangerous, guys, so do be aware that the audio bugs are here and they do play tricks on you and they do make life difficult. But, with, like I said, a little bit of teamwork, it makes the dream work, right? Oh, yeah. 
So, as Callie said, if I just throw these over the catwalk, it makes life easier. Oh, uh, uh, gunfire, yeah. You okay? Yeah, I got him. Okay. It's nice. Methodical work. Yeah, so if you pay attention to your bunker layout, so you can also make moving drugs much easier. Instead of going all the way around and up the stairs, we just throw these drugs up over the um, railing here and save us some time. There's still quite a bit of drugs. Now imagine if we did this like with the deadly contraband one, right? So like I said, this would be basically double the drugs that we're doing right now if we did the other one. And this is gonna net us like 400K, if not a little bit more. I'd say this is more than the ones we got last time, honestly. This seems yeah. like more. So we'll show you at the end of this video on how much we make by doing this. But we also, like I said, there's only two of us, so we have to keep our heads on a swivel to make sure we don't run into any baddies. And always, get... uh, always look at the entrances, like the elevators and stuff like that. Yes. That's where So in this case, there's an elevator over here, and there is an elevator right next to me over here, and then there's an elevator back where the drugs are, and I believe that's all these downstairs elevators that I can show off. Then there's a few upstairs. If you guys watch some of my you know, other bunker videos where I show you guys how to make money really quickly by doing bunkers, you guys know where all the elevators are because I show them off in those videos. But yeah. I'd say number one thing about doing uh, these bunker missions is learning the hotkeys to get your guns and stuff. Oh yes, yes. I have uh, a funny video, funny clip, kind of uh, vid uh, fun video that will come out in a few days that will show you <laughs> a lot about being prepared and knowing your keys. And Kavinsky comes and saves the day in that one, so there's a little star... Uh, uh, a++ for Kavensky for saving the day there. He's very proud of that day and uh, he's excited to be featured in the video. Yep. And then you also hear the voice keys of the enemy spawning. So there you go. Callie's got some action up there. He's taking care of him. Callie's got all the action on his screen. I don't got no action. It's okay. We're moving drugs. We're being methodical. We're, we're making cash. We're Oh, there's the enemy. There we go. I'm gonna switch to. I'm gonna have a fire if mode. The server or something, but I swear. I move drugs over here and it's not increasing the pile. One, two, three, four, five, six. I, I feel like the drugs are disappearing four, sometimes. So. Eight. I feel that. There's eight right here. I'm grabbing another box. Also, remember, guys, there are red loot boxes, so we could... Ju oh, that fucking elevator opened up right in front of me. It's okay. Let's take care of him. <laughs> so what's in this red box? A uh, Karna rifle and an AO3 sniper rifle. Those are nice. And a custodian. Um, I got all my weapons back recently. If you guys watched yesterday's video, um, if this video does come out today, it will be yesterday's video where we do the making money in salvage uh, 30k salvage missions and during that video the fix happened where everyone got their inventory items back and that was very exciting so now I have all my fancy guns back and stuff and as you can see I'm using a black and red multi-tool because I had that in my inventory and I haven't gone and gone get any new ones so I got my old ones back all of your items, ships, components returned, but none of the money that you used to get them back. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say all of your items and ships and stuff because that, it, some of your items, well, all of your items, some of your sh ships, there's the boss. I thought you were going to say sheesh. Got him. He's down. Oh. More targets. They're all down. <laughs> Head on the swivel, ladies and gents. So as you can see, we got another boss guy down, and he's wearing more Artemis gear. So if you like Artemis gear, 
it is here. You just don't get the chest piece. But you guys know how to get Artemis gear, right? You guys have all seen one of my biggest hit videos of farming Artemis gear. <laughs> oh! I saw that. It's the funniest thing ever. What happened? Oh my god. Are you throwing the body <laughs> on you? Oh yeah. <laughs> you made him land like right on top of one of these uh these like lap benches. Oh that's funny. Alright, well on my end these drugs are my top back to their positions. Okay. Or at least uh at least the, these two grasp the leg straights. That's fine. They um I can move them. If one person can't move them, the other person can, so it's okay. We're almost done here. There's only like uh five more boxes. And we'll do uh a couple more boss bodies and then we'll be done and out of here and it'll be video well done and uh it'll be fully uncut that's how we do it guys just so you guys can see how we traverse the situation and whatnot if uh the video is too long you guys know you can you know cut through fast forward rewind all those kinds of things but this is about gameplay this is a gameplay channel we do how to's but it's still gameplay and i and i love and appreciate your guys' feedback and support and I, I really do it makes my day when i see that you guys are so happy to see the fun shenanigans that we do while doing things together and showing you guys how to do stuff and making it fun instead of just going go here go there and uh i i, I really do appreciate the feedback when we get sometimes I do appreciate the um, criticism too, you know, when you guys tell me, oh, you should do this, and maybe this will be better, and I appreciate all of it. Everyone is a part of the community, everyone has a voice, and you guys are all awesome. So I'm going to restock my bullets here, my magazines here, and we'll head up to Cali because we have completed our drug transfer to the upper balcony. And we're just going to prepare all the drugs on the elevator. And then but teleporting man. It's like Slenderman. It's <laughs> less fun. Less fun. Less fun Slenderman. Okay. So we got quite a bit of drugs here. We'll move them towards the elevator. Whoa. Bosses. Okay. Bosses? So. Yeah, you can hear them. Uh, what the hell was that? <laughs> Ooh, there's a lot of dudes. Look at all the carnage, all the dead bodies. No, I don't think there was. I do have a head injury now, though, so because I got shot in the head at some point. It's pretty interesting. So, apologize for the screen darkness every once in a while because of the head trauma but nonetheless this is good cash cash money i i kept on debating guys do i want to just make this video completely about the armor and less about the drugs but if we're down here and i got somebody very competent of uh handling the situation then we might as well do it all right it's a video about doing it all If you're doing it solo, you should probably focus on, you know, one thing or another. Uh, yeah. You okay? Um, my... I was shooting him, and then my reticle went away. And then it never came back. Like, I was firing, like, in his direction, but my bullets, I think, were not hitting for some reason. I don't know what was happening. But... Did, your, uh, did your scope, like, zoom out a little bit? I don't think it was the scope zooming out. It just like the the red dot in my scope just was gone, and so like the bullets just weren't. It's almost like the bullets stopped working. <laughs> it was weird because I was still on target. You know, like my the middle of my scope was still on the guy. So, if you want to put the rest on the, uh, just like start putting the drugs actually on the elevator, I'll do a lap around. Alright! Uh, 
quick little lap around to die real quick. Be careful in these uh, missions, guys, when you do start uh, killing quite a bit of people because the bodies will start to pile up and the bodies piling up can cause it a, a little bit of a problem on walking around. And frame rate. And frame rate, yes. So here is a Citadel boss armor dude who is like strafing like a football player, like a beast. <laughs> he was he was doing this, this strafe like he was like avoiding my bullets with his strafing so I decided to just shoot him in the body instead of his head because he was doing perfect strafing <laughs> <laughs> oh go over the railing sir all right so there you go there's boss number four four and how long have we been recording 30 minutes so Four bosses, 30 minutes. It's pretty I good. Think most of that was just like clearing out the bunker and identifying the drugs. Well, you gotta. The respawn time is like maybe eight, ten minutes. So it really is what it is, you know. So we'll do one more boss to show you guys a nice even five, and we'll make the video a easy. Uh, probably 40 minute time well we still got to get all these drugs onto the ship but you know like i said it's oh, that's 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 nothing that's nothing and then going to brios to sell them yeah. just so you guys can see the the final output but luckily uh jump town is offline they're gonna restart it on thursday though uh, oh okay. jump town is offline for the for the time being, so nobody's gonna be at Brio selling drugs. Okay. Or at least nobody should. Yeah. So uh, also on, look at that. So once you get to this point, you know the drugs are on the elevator, the boss is on the elevator. It's pretty standard at this point. Like we're 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 pretty much good, you know. Um, yep. Now all you do is kind of hang out at the front of the elevator. If you were just farming boss armor, you would just stand here and wait for them to come to you and just kind of stay undercover and take it real nice and easy. Going to get the drugs is the risky part. And, uh, we do recommend high capacity magazines or a lot of magazines because sometimes that boss will rush you. Yes. Uh, if you have an unsuppressed weapon. Yes. Yes. Go take his head off. Some drugs with my un with my magazine I wanted to unload, and then finish putting up the rest of the magazines on my belt, and voila. There you go. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. What? My personal inventory is bugged. Beautiful. Alright, guy coming in the middle catwalk. Pop, 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 pop. Down he goes. Three shots of the head should do most enemies. A fourth shot will be the double tap, which is beautiful. Alright, Kelly, I think we took care of the top four guys. Oh, never mind. I'm dead. <laughs> See what I mean on running around and with infinite spawning enemies and the audio bug? It's a little bit of... Uh, he's in the middle catwalk. Oh, is that the guy I killed? Possibly. I'm here That's on the okay. stairs. There's nobody here that I can see. See? And little shortcut keys there. He just instantly goes to med gun, instantly picks me up. And voila, we're back in business. And while he's healing, I can cover. No problem. And another guy coming around the corner. Down he goes. And then I'm just looking for the final boss, dude, because he should be up and down here, and then we'll get out of here. Or he should be spawning any any minute, any second. Where 
Where are you, big boy? Come and give me a kiss. <laughs> And like I said, the, when you got a friend, you can afford to be a little bit less cautious. I am being very aggressive and not being too cautious because I know I have backup. If I was completely solo, I would be a lot more careful. Yeah. When you have a friend here, it's like Call of Duty, but when you're here alone, it's more like Rainbow Six. Tighten on me. Yep. Tighten on him. And look at that. The FS9 just puts in too much work, guys. It's like, really? If you want to get this stuff done, use the FS9. I'm being lazy and just using a P4. Um, but the FS9 really does help. Or really any LMG. So the Demico, you know how much I love the Demico, guys. So if I was actually running solo, I'd probably run the Demico. That's a fantastic gun. Yep. Uh, you could usually find those on the Hurston bosses, huh? Yes, yes. They always have those. These guys here at Crusader, they always have the FS9. Yep. Alright, ready? You on the elevator? Pick us up, Mr. Spock. Oh, oh, it's trying to make me click on something else. But I think I pressed it. Yep. There you go. That's maybe trying to make me turn over somebody or something. But as you can see, plenty of boss armor. Uh, if you like the big old chest piece I, I actually like them i just don't like the uh pink being on them i wish i could find me some citadel armor that isn't nine tails that would be cool um i do like the shoulder pads as you can see on my character here shoulder pads are nice i like them they're very very cool very cool in my opinion uh, but some people don't like them that's cool it's everyone's opinion um I just, I just like to look like a football player. It's unique. I think it's like very different from a lot of the other uh, armors that we have in the game. You know, to have something big and bulky like that, it's really cool. Look like a freaking tank. I'm a tank. So take a look, Manny. It's the most wonderful time of the year. See and look at this front door action all five bosses in the front door and then I could just turn around grab some drugs and send them back to them and we can fill this terrapin up very nicely uh, what are we up to now 37 minutes on the recording and we're loading up that's pretty good timing I think Yep. <laughs> are we selling corn? Is that what we're doing? I mean, yeah. This this game is like the Ohio of space games. The Ohio of space games. I've never heard that one before. Oh come on, like, admit it. No Man's Sky. I, I don't know what are they like. Uh, PBS. I tried No Man's Sky, it seemed more like a refuel simulator, because you have to manually refuel your ships every time. I I think, well I mean, No Man's Sky today, alright, is, I think it's a really nice game, but my problem with No Man's Sky is that it's, it just looks ugly, in my opinion. It looks like Adventure Time. Yeah, it's very cartoony, it's very, very, uh... Like, the ships don't look good. The ships in this game are exactly what you would, like, would want in a space sim game. Yeah. It's not, like, this isn't even like a space sim. Come on. This is utter chaos, but we love it. You know? We call it a sim. This game is life. Yeah. <laughs> and guess what? Life is chaotic. And if you like EVE Online, that's a job. Nobody likes doing their job. It's wrong. This game, this game is life, you know? In real life, I sometimes, you know, uh, uh, glitch through the floor sometimes too, you know? Yeah, absolutely. That happens to me all the time. You know when I describe this game to, like, new people? You know how I describe it? I describe it as GTA in space. Dude, why, where, why you gotta say what I say? Like, that's... <laughs> it's just GTA in space, bro. That's literally what I tell people. Crime ratings, you can do drug me. 
missions. You can be a mercenary. And that's what this is going to turn into. Like, I'm, uh, like we're going to have RP servers. It's going to be great. Oh, yeah, 100%. Sucks that they removed mod support, though. I feel... Well, I, like, there used to be, like, VR Star Citizen, huh? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure there was. Um, but they took it out to implement easy NIG. And is that goddamn crate teleporting again? Always. And voila, guys, that is a job well done. Is that all the drugs? Yep. And it's pretty, he's, he's probably making it nice and pretty in there. I'll let you finish up. Which uh, define pretty. <laughs> oh. Like, I'm pretty to my mom, but like, <laughs> to other people, I'm hideous. <laughs> It's it's almost it's almost like you organized it in here. You know I'm not gonna lie. This is exactly what my room looks like. <laughs> yeah, there's like five corpses in the corner and a bunch of drugs in the other. Is that what it is? Yeah. All right. Where are you pulling these drugs from? I didn't. <laughs> you don't see them? No. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> All right, That's ladies and gents. There you go, there's your body corpses, five uh, boss armors, and then plenty of drugs to go sell. So as I was saying, uh, if you're doing this mission with a friend, you might as well do it all. And, um, you know, do it in style with the golden helmet, as always. You know, do all, <laughs> do the boss farming armor in style. Alright, let's get out of here and go to Brios and see how much money we make. And then we'll do an outro and finish this episode, or this, this video. And uh, that went off without a hitch so oh, far. Yeah, I say that now, and then we're going to get a shot at Brios and lose it all. But if that were to happen, we showed you how to do the mission, so <laughs> we did our job. If we die at Daymar... Risk and reward, people. Risk <laughs> and reward. If we die at Daymar, the, the, the video still stands. I just can't show you how much money we made. <laughs> <laughs> Alt Z and then we came in here and it was light and we came out and it's dark beautiful the ship does have veto mode so i could you know do that look at that isn't that pretty that's pretty also the landing gear is pretty cool looking too like if i let me yeah. let me do the landing gear again look at that landing gear comes out such a cool ship that's a cool ship. Okay, we're plenty high, and let's uh, go back in and turn on Quantum and find us an OM marker and then take us to Daymar because it was not letting me set a course to Daymar while we were on the surface. So in order to fix that, you guys know what to do, right? Go to an OM marker. From an OM marker, you can access any place with 100%, I will say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a 100% stamp you can do anything from an OM marker with setting your location. Okay, there's not once that this game has said, nope, OM marker is not going to let you set a course anywhere. All right, Astro Manny, stamp seal approved. <laughs> like the great Jimothy Neutron says, got a blast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, two more jumps and then we are there. What else we got? Kavetsky, are you there? Our standby medic is not there. <laughs> I'm sure if I pinged him, he would respond. Minimal audio bugs. I think I think FPS gameplay is just very audio bugged, and the ship stuff starts audio bugging after playing the game for like 45 minutes an hour and then it starts bugging yeah uh, uh, all right we're gonna take our final jump here to brios we're gonna leave our quantum drive on just a little bit longer so we can 
pay attention to where Brios is as we fly in, because of course we fly in on the dark side of the moon. We can never get the beautiful scenes of the lightness. If there is somebody here, we might just say screw it and come back another time, because we are not in a fighter ship. You know, you want to hear a story about a terrapin I fought against once? Sure. Tell us the story while we close in the Brios. Uh, my old squadron, uh, we named it High Squadron. We were doing illegal uh, bunker stuff where we would go into a security bunker uh, and farm the armor that the bosses dropped, uh, like the Crusader security gear and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And we had turned off the comrade so we wouldn't get in trouble for it. And we had made entry into the bunker, and the first boss we see, we let loose. And right as we kill it, the Kamare comes back online. And no, like, <laughs> I was going to say no shit, but you know, no shit. Um, a razor comes out of nowhere, a bounty hunter, straight for us. And then about two minutes later, a terrapin. I'm in my Corsair, and this Terrapin is just doing a bunch of jousting maneuvers, and eventually he hits me, but dies. He blows himself up. Somehow, like... Uh... Oh, he rams you? Hits you? Yeah, yeah. he rams me, and I I'm, I'm unscathed. But I don't understand why people think any ship is a good ship. You have your landing gear, right? Apparently not. I thought I did. No, I did have my landing gear on. Oh, oh, I did open door instead of landing gear. I hear another ship. Landing We're being shot at. Deployed. Are we? Yep. Landing oh, yeah. Raised. It's Corsair. Really? Oh, it's Kavinsky. <laughs> Are you serious, dude? <laughs> oh, good times, good times. Kavinsky. Landing gear. Are you muted, that dude? That was for when you dropped a bunch of uh, torpedoes on top of me when I was in my eclipse. That's for the viewers at home. <laughs> oh, so what was this vengeance? What are you, Batman? Get out of here. <laughs> well, th That's I remember right. I the comments of that video. A lot of folks were like, uh, you know, how did you? Why did you do that to your friend and all that? You know? Yeah. So, here was a, a revenge in good fun. <laughs> Fair enough. You spin I was in third person, around. too, so like I almost didn't realize, but I heard the ship because my audio is not bugged currently. And I instantly went back into first person, and I was like, oh, better move. All right, so you got to leave the ship so I can sell. And yep. then, Where are the uh, bodies? Well, uh, that's another thing, right? So, uh, guys, loot your bodies and put them in the ship because they tend to disappear when you fly away because this game is Star Citizen. So let's pretend that we looted the bodies and uh, put them in our ship. You know, we got five uh, loots in, in the ships and everything's fine. And then we also go to our Terrapin and we look at the... Eight units of maze that sell for 10k a piece, so we get 86k for that maze there. Hit that sell button, hit that confirm button, 86k in the bank, and then Gatsby Weevil Legs, 20 units that sell for 14k a piece, which is 281k. So again, like I said, roughly 350k uh, money made off of that, and five sets of boss gear if you stored them in your ship and that is what we did right we stored them in our ship and we threw the dead bodies out the door that is what we oh, did yeah. uh, absolutely. that is uh, that is exactly what we did um everything is fine there's nothing wrong uh 360k and 
five things of boss gear. So that is how you farm boss gear in endless waves of bunkers. Let me get Callie in the shot. There he is. Hi. Hello. Welcome. This is the end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching. You guys know what to do. Smash that like button. Leave a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. You guys do know that when we hit 2,000 subscribers, there will be a giveaway once again. Thank you guys for all your support. I appreciate you guys. Down in the description below, there is the Discord information and all that stuff. And coming up on the screen right now for the ending screen stuff, there's the Discord and all that stuff. Thank you guys. This is Astro Manny and Kelly and Kavinsky signing off. Hope you have a wonderful day. And adios. Bye.